you guys. Today we're doing a little bit of a hair experiment. So as I mentioned in my last video, I have naturally strawberry blonde hair that I dyed with henna, and then about two months ago, I dyed that with a semi-permanent brown hair color. It said that it would last about 30 washes. It's lasted more than that for me. I don't know about other people. I've heard of some people like not getting it to last the full 30. Um, and I use a really gentle shampoo, so maybe that's part of the issue, but like, it won't come out, <laughs> so I'm gonna go and try to use some of this vitamin C stuff and shampoo. So I've done this in the past. I made a video about it. I did this with my henna. I did vitamin C effervescent tablets and I crushed them up in a blender. And then I added some dandruff shampoo and made a foam, put it on my head for an hour, washed it out, put coconut oil on for the entire evening, woke up, washed that out, and then my hair was lighter. And I did this like four or five times to get to my final result. So now I want to see if I can get this to work again, but on the semi-permanent dye. My only issue is I now live in the dorms and I no longer have a blender. <laughs> so I am gonna try something a little different this time. We're gonna see if it works out. Instead of the effervescent, ever, effervescent little tablets that like dissolve in water, I bought the little like powder packets, you know? So they're just, they're basically like already crushed up. It's still like the one that dissolves in water. Okay, it's got flavors in it, so this might be a little weird. But you know what, I'm gonna try this. We're gonna see if it works. I also ran out of my dandruff shampoo, but I did have this, so. And it does have uh, sodium laureth sulfate. Oh, so this is a pretty like harsh shampoo. Um, especially in comparison to the stuff that I currently use. So this is what we're gonna try, okay? <laughs> it's not ideal, but I'm gonna see if it works out and I'm gonna show you guys the whole process. Um, I also realized that I don't have any spoons or bowls and I just got back from the store. So today, we're gonna be using a cup and this straw. You guys are in for a treat. <laughs> All right, so I just grabbed my cup and my straw, went over to my little mixing station, moved my plants out of the way. Their names are Hootie and the Blowfish, in case you were wondering. <laughs> and yeah, I just kind of got started. So I first uh, added the powder to the cup, and then I took a really giant squirt of the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Shampoo, and I added it to the mix. I don't really have any exact measurements. I mean, I just kind of show you how much I add. I mean, just kind of cover the powder and then start mixing away and you're gonna see it kind of foam up. Um, I couldn't like show this while I was holding my phone to film, but uh, this is like what it does at least. So you can see, uh, yeah, it just kind of starts to expand and foam up and bubble. And then you have a huge bowl or cup <laughs> in my case, full of stuff to put on your head. Okay, so I didn't really do sections um, because the shampoo, you're able to kind of lather the shampoo. So I knew it was touching every strand of hair and uh, right now I kind of look like I have a mullet, so that's great. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see there, I really just kind of lather it in, make sure everything's getting covered and then take that through my ends. And here we have the moment my soul left my body. My name is Sarah McLaughlin, and you can help save her soul by clicking that button down below and subscribing to her channel. Just keep on a scrubbing until you get every single strand. You don't want to end up with weird splotches of places that lighten more than others. Then to finish it off, I stuck it in a bun, turned into a mushroom for an hour, and then voila! All right, so it has been about four days since I filmed the first part to this video. I ended up doing four different vitamin C treatments overall because this dye is so stubborn. Like I cannot get it to come out of my hair and it's crazy to me because this is a semi-permanent dye. So technically it should have already washed out of my hair after 30 washes when it's been like 60 days and it's still nowhere near out of my hair. So I'm getting a little nervous. Um, Henna is a permanent dye and it responded better to these treatments than uh, the semi-permanent dye has. Uh, granted, I used dandruff shampoo and the effervescent tablets whenever I was doing that with the henna, whereas this time I was using a 
Garnier Fructis shampoo and like powder packets, but I mean, it's the same kind of ingredients, so it, it should have technically done the same thing. So I'm not sure where to go from here. I mean, here are my results just to show you guys. Um, it's, it's definitely lightened it up a little bit. So it has removed some of that semi-permanent dye because you can tell my hair is redder. Uh, because remember, underneath the semi-permanent dye is a henna. So it's bright red underneath. Um, it, it's getting redder, so it's coming out. It's just nowhere near what I thought. I thought I was gonna be able to do, honestly, like two treatments and all of it was gonna be gone. That is not the case. <laughs> I've done four treatments and it's it's nowhere near out. So um, yeah, but this was my experience with it, you guys. Uh, if you do have some stubborn dye, I do recommend trying this because it'll lighten it for sure. It will remove some of it. You know, I think it's a great option if you really don't want to bleach your hair or you have something like henna where you cannot bleach your hair. Um, oh, and by the way, I was doing the oil thing. So with each of those vitamin C treatments, I would then put coconut oil on my hair and then go to sleep for the entire evening to try and help drag some more of the color out. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little disappointed to be honest with you. I really didn't see that big of a difference this time. Um, the brown is still there. So uh, the, my biggest motivator for this was because my roots are coming out and I don't want to have to re-dye my roots. I just want to let my like virgin hair grow all the way out and then cut the dye off as we go. But if I can't lighten this up, like we're gonna have a pretty harsh line for a while, uh, because as you've as you've seen, uh, when my blonde hair grows out, it kind of just looks like I'm balding. So that's gonna be a great experience. I look forward to that. But yeah, so <laughs> that is everything, you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my content, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next week. Bye.